I think the the foundation you need is a really thorough understanding of marketing as a whole, especially whatever realm in marketing you're working in. Like, for example, if we're doing, you know, social media ads, you have to really understand those platforms and what drives mm-hmm. performance. You have to understand tactics, yeah. like what you should be doing when, what what strategies make sense in what scenarios. That's the foundation. And then once you move higher and higher and higher up the organizational chain, because CMO is about as high as it gets for marketing. Mm-hmm. But as you reach the high position of CMO and really any corporate officer, you run an entire department. So whether you're a chief marketing officer, you are in charge of the organizational structure of the entire marketing arm of your company. Yeah. Same way if you were a chief financial officer, mm-hmm. you're in charge of the entire financial Absolutely, arm the, the entire the entire I don't think that's important for you to point out because there's a lot of times people aren't specialized or qualified to be a CMO because they just don't know certain areas in the marketing field, right? Yeah. They can completely miss out on tactics that are just super vital for any campaign to be successful in today's world because the marketplace is always changing, right? Things are always constantly changing in marketing. So yeah. it's important to have all that knowledge to have, you know, and if you don't know things, that's exactly where you get the team from, right? That's where you start to hire out. You find the agencies or the skilled, qual- uh, the skilled qualified people like yourself and I, right? The shit that we do and we and you deploy them and you make them do the job. Yeah. That's... And, you know, I think, too, as far as the CMO position specifically, that I can imagine a scenario where someone is a brilliant marketer, but if you don't have the management kind of skills and the Mm. understanding of corporate strategy, that Mm. that probably would impede your progress up the ladder, Mm. too. Yeah, absolutely. So not just having those hard marketing skills, but the people skills to be able to get to that position. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, if you if you if you strive to be a CMO or you want to be successful when you actually lead a company, like I think that's definitely one of the best skills to have is the people skills, the, the ability to put together the team, right? To vet your options. That's almost as important as knowing your marketing your marketing abilities, right? Yeah, and because <laughs> speaking for myself, you know, I consider myself a little bit of an introvert. And Do so, you? No. <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit. So like in my in my personal journey, I remember in younger days kind of wishing there was just this way I could make a ton of money in a room by myself, not having to talk to anybody. Well, there's that bored apes. So <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> but, um, you know, I feel like one thing I've realized is you really can't, there's a limit, a real limit on how much money you can make sheerly without other people. Like other, who has money? Other that's correct. People. That's, you need that's, to sell that's, products, that's, that's you correct. need to manage teams. Oh. So at some point, you know, Regardless if you want to or not, if you want to make real progress, I think you need to learn how to deal with people. I think that's going to get, uh, I think that's going to resonate with a lot of people. 